Hey, hey homos. homos, welcome back to our podcast. Welcome back to Happy Healthy Homo, the podcast where we are empowering you guys, and yeah. particularly gay men, to build happy, healthy lives. I'm Keegan. I'm Joe. We're, we're boyfriends. We are, still. And um, yeah, we're here for everyone, like Keegan said, mainly aimed at the gay community, but we know we've got lots of allies watching, so thank you. Big up the honor- honorary homos. Yeah. Who are in. <laughs> How have you been this week? Uh, busy. You have been busy. Is You've it? been all over the shop. I've been to Dusseldorf. He's been to Dusseldorf in Germany, and then we're off to London tomorrow yeah, as we're recording this. Yeah, busy. So all over Europe. How have you? I'm doing a European tour. <laughs> yeah. How have you been doing? Yeah, I find my hay fever's playing up today. I've got an itchy eye, and I believe it's a bit red and bloodshot, and I feel a bit sneezy. So if you see me looking worse for wear this episode, just bear with. It's it's just because I've been for a dog walk, and there's pollen everywhere. Um, I don't believe in hay fever. Keegan doesn't think it exists. And I'm like, then what do you call this? With the eyes weeping, right. nose yeah, running. <laughs> I just feel like your body's just decided to make something up because it has nothing else to do. Yeah, just like your deviated septum made up. Well, I don't think they would have operated on a made up thing, would they? <laughs> I do have a bad shoulder though now. Oh yeah, I don't know how you've done that. I don't know how I've done it either. He literally lifts his shoulder an inch and goes, ah, ah. I don't know what I've done. I think my body is just literally giving up on me. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Is your body giving up on you? Get in touch. <laughs> Leave us a comment. I mean, it is reassuring when, um, in some ways, and depressing, when you're in your early 30s and people are like, yeah, it's just downhill from here. And you go, okay, so I'm meant to be feeling a little bit like worse for wear. But you go, I thought I could have lasted till at least 45 until I, I got a bad back. I haven't been in my early 30s for, uh, for a while. So oh, Yeah, you're actually nearing your late 30s. Nearing, yeah. Yeah, oh mid, my gosh! Mid to late. Though. Ew! One day I'm going to be with a forty year old. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. That feels so grown up. Yeah, so grown up. Wow. Good, good to see that ageism is alive and well in the gay community. Oh, it is. No, uh, obviously I. Because uh, you got think of yourself as a young person, don't you? Well, that's the thing. Me being thirty two, I'm like, ew, that's disgusting. Like I still feel about twenty one, yeah. and so the fact that you're going to turn forty. In my mind, I'm still 21. I'm not turning 40 anytime soon. <laughs> Four years. Um, Three and a half. So, yeah. Are you turning 40 soon? Get in touch. Oh, um, yeah. I hate aging. Never mind. Yeah, well, and like I've said look before, after yourself, you I'm not doing it gracefully. Much. See, I am. I'm not. I don't want age grace. How boring. Where someone goes, oh, they're aging so gracefully. I'm like, no, I want to be that kooky, you- weird, like older person who's still like. Jackie what? Stallone. Hey, I was thinking more. I'm jaggy. Um, who's the comedian? Joan Rivers. I was thinking more Joan Rivers. Like oh, a face, not, like a sheet of paper. They're not dissimilar. <laughs> uh, they've literally. Got I don't know who the other face. one is. You said it's Sylvester Stallone's mom. She was in uh, Celebrity Big Brother. <gasps> yes, I remember yeah. with the big face. Yeah, because she'd had so much surgery. Hey, I'm jaggy. Yeah, that's gonna be me one day. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and people will look back at pics of me now, hopefully, and go, "What a shame. What He's did, really ruined himself." What has it done to his face? <laughs> um, <laughs> Are you aging gracefully? <laughs> I found that so funny. If you're aging gracefully, then let us know. You can contact us. Hello. I, love I was just dying of choking oh, and you didn't even stop to check if I was do okay. Just quietly. You just cracked on with the podcast as if it didn't exist. I'm a consummate professional, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> we can, can someone mute and lower mute it? Job. <laughs> mute job. Oh. Um, yeah, get in touch. Hello at happyhealthyhomo.com. Yes. Um, or you can get in touch with us on Instagram. Mm-hmm. On socials. Yep. If you'd like to join our Patreon, then you can. It's just a way for you guys to support this podcast if you have the means and are willing to do that. We also give you some things in return, like a mug. Not that one, though. Not that mug. This one. (laughs) This mug. Uh, So the yellow one you can buy right now without being a Patreon member. You just click the link to our website. You just sniff it. I slurped it. Oh, okay. (laughs) It's called Acting Joe. Um, Good one. And then this one is for our patrons who've been a patron for two whole months. Your coffee tastes better in this one. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Yeah. And if you want to get in touch, we've had loads of people get in touch about this episode, which is a heavy episode. I realise we've been dicking about at the beginning, but it is quite a a heavy episode. We need some lightness to this episode because it will 